Cooking has always been my passion, definitely. Uh, it's always been something that I've been interested in, and I don't even know for what reason since I was a kid. So, you know, that thing that people say uh, that you need to have at least 10,000 hours of doing something for you to become an expert. Well, I did accumulate like a lot more uh, than 10,000 hours of home cooking. Uh, and a lot of things that then I learned in my life actually came in handy for my food blog that I started during quarantine. Uh, and uh, for example, I've been raised on Mediterranean diet. And so I know how to build a good balanced meal. And I had very extremely healthy uh, eating habits from the start because I've been raised that way. And at the same time, I'm a biologist and I work on uh, diets and nutrition too. So in the end, uh, that really helps a lot to give me the knowledge that I need to make good food for myself, uh, but also to make something that can be useful to people and can be posted and sold uh, in so on social media. Uh, and actually uh, having an Instagram account, an Instagram profile uh, on food helped me a lot to change the way I think in terms of how I make my food and my recipes because this is a side thing. So um, now that I know that it needs to be in a certain way kind of like pretty too and like it has to have all the colors of the rainbow because I like to tell people that, uh, you know, you need to eat the rainbow all the time. Uh, it really helps me from the start because now I have a vision, I have a mission, I know what I want to do and that is fundamental for me to be able to design from the start to buy the ingredients I need to uh, design a post that is not just a good meal for me because that's going to be what I'm going to eat but also something pretty uh, that I can show uh, on social media and people actually may enjoy it as well. I used to always do it, always like pretty food and surround myself with pretty things and beauty because I feel like those things really impact a lot uh, your perception. And that's also part of my uh, mission because what I want to do, and it's important to know your mission in everything you do, what I want to know, I want to um, spread is healthy habits, but also the idea that you have to take care of yourself in a lot of different ways from eating healthy to, uh, you know, take care of yourself, you know, even with a pretty meal in front of you every day, even though you are alone, it doesn't matter. You are your best guest and you have to love yourself because that's important, especially today where especially after this pandemic where everybody uh, has been very lonely. So uh, having knowing my mission and what I want to do is fundamental for me to be able to build something nice from the start and having a result that I like without spending too much time, especially because this is just a side thing for me. I have a job, so I can't really spend too much on building uh, my posts. What I do is I cook for myself, but at the same time, I try and do it in a way, and now it became a habit, um, so it's easier and faster to do it. Uh, try to build something that then people are going to enjoy also visually. And uh, to do that, uh, I really take like um, take uh, information from my upbringing, from my knowledge, from my studies, for me to apply all these things and to sum them up all together in just one picture that then I share. And the first thing is obviously good ingredients. I grew up in a place where I had extremely healthy. Uh, ingredients and food all around me all the time and i know how important it is at the same time though especially because you know i want to show people that they have to um try to eat the rainbow all the time i always try to buy ingredients that are somewhat colorful but in a natural way because a lot of people mm, have the same purpose they want to you know go viral on social media and to do that they start posting pictures of very colorful cakes and stuff like that but then that's not my message so i can't lose my identity and compromise with my identity for me to go viral what i want to do is still to spread healthy habits so to do that i have to select the ingredients in a way that there's always every color of the rainbow of my plate like there's always some green especially like parsley or basil something that is very mediterranean but uh, also kind of gives a kick uh, of color and at the same time 
um, I al always try to have a very balanced meals so that people can see how to build a meal that doesn't always uh, give you, you know, it's not just pretty and it's not just proteins, especially. So I always try to have a lot of veggies because that's part of my mission um, uh, to spread healthy habits and a lot of veggies into your diet is part of it. So I always take care of showing people in my posts that uh, I eating veggies is fundamental for you. So there's always a big portion of it because that's important for me, but also it's pretty to see that, uh, to see nice veggies, right? Uh, so I always think about how the composition of my plate is gonna be at the very end. And based on that, I always take care that, uh, you know, um, especially because I oftentimes uh, post reels or stories, for example. So I always make sure that um, the food that I make is also uh, cooked in a way that it's nice and pretty to understand the level of cooking of it, especially when it's like meat or fish that needs to be cooked well. I take care of showing people that it's a little cold and brown uh, and so that they understand that it has to be well cooked and not burned because uh, it's all part of how your food is supposed to look like for you to actually uh, benefit from it because a lot of things may be pretty or okay to see but then they're not healthy for you so I want to make sure that people know people have a reference because that's what I did when I grew up like reading my mom's cookbooks gave me a lot of references of how good and healthy or pretty and um, tasteful food is supposed to look like and how you're supposed to present the mise en place of a recipe. Uh, so I do have a lot of knowledge in that sense just because I did study uh, since I was a kid study in the sense that I started reading these things and now I have a reference. So the same thing uh, that I did for myself I wanted people to be able to do it through my page, through my Instagram um, blog, so that they know they have a reference of how uh, things uh, are supposed to look like when they, they cook. But at the same time, I also want for people to be able to uh, cook a home by themselves because it's something extremely healthy to do and it gives you really, uh, like it makes you save money, it makes you save on uh, healthcare later on in your life. And so it's something that I really try to spread. But to do that, I always have to make sure that people understand that doing it is actually quick and easy and everybody can do it. So I always try to also make recipes that are um, simple to make and all the different ingredients on the plate are shown separate in the picture in a certain way so that people understand what's in it, how, what, uh, what the food is, uh, I'm showing is about, uh, what the proportions of the different ingredients are uh, and um, the fact that it's actually simple and easy and all the different kinds of recipes I made with all the different ingredients on the plate are actually easy to visualize because they're all separate. It's not just a bunch of smoothie uh, uh, and puree, right? Uh, at the same time, uh, it's important to know, um, you know, when you do these kind of things, you have to think also to the contrast of food, uh, of the light around you, because when you take the pictures of, or the pictures of the videos, it's important for, um, for people to see a nice picture with a nice light. So I always try to do it, to take pictures uh, during daytime. And if I do it nighttime, I always make sure uh, that there is a good light. To sh that I can then use, but I usually I try to avoid it because the uh, artificial light is very different. And it's extremely important also to have the right tools because that makes you save a lot of time, especially if it's a side thing. You need to have the right tools for you to be able to do things nice and that saves you just time. And so I always have uh, things in my home like blender, um, all different kinds of sort of tools that you can use in a kitchen because uh, those allow you to make things that would be otherwise impossible for you. So right tools, right ingredients, and uh, having a vision and a mission is fundamental for you to save time because in the end, that's what I, what I do. I already know what I want to achieve. So 
through the, the process that I'm doing, I understand whether what I'm doing is fitting my mission or not, and I can change it. If you don't have a vision, if you don't have a mission, you never know if what you're doing is actually okay or not based on what you want to achieve at the end. So you need to have a goal because otherwise there's no way for you to achieve it. You need to know what your goal is and uh, dedicate the right time to it. The time that, you know, gives you, makes it efficient instead of making it uh, just a time sucker that doesn't actually lead you anywhere. And to do that, you, you need to know from the start what you want to do and have practice, of course. And because in the end, the ultimate um, person that has to enjoy that food is me, I have to make things that actually I enjoy. They make me happy, they make me feel proud of what I did and make me enjoy my food at the same time. So that's fundamental. Always take care of making sure that what you're doing satisfies you in whatever field you are. You have to be satisfied about what you're doing and about uh, the, the product that you deliver, something that you can be proud of and you can say, I did this and this is something I can actually share and be proud of it instead of being ashamed, especially because when you are on social media and when you work with public, once you share something online, that's gonna be there forever because people can actually associate it with to you and can use it in the future and you know it can spread and you are the person the source of that thing so when you share something on social media on the internet or like in the world in general you always want to make sure that it's something you are proud of you're something that if people say you made it you did it you're gonna be happy about that 